guys, we are really excited to bring you this workout today. It's uh, super easy. It's one that you can do with your kiddos. It's one that you can do with no weights. Um, so it's pretty easy to do no matter where you are. And so today we're gonna do this and I've got two of my kiddos here with me today. And this is... Hi, my name's Riley and I'm 10 years old and I like to work out, run, play basketball and draw. And draw, okay. And this is... Hi, my name's Jack I, and I love working out with my mom. Do you really? What else do you like? I like baseball and I like most sports. Baseball and sports. Okay, so get ready to join us here today. The workout itself is only 20 minutes um, and let's get started. Before we start our workout, we need to take just a couple minutes here and warm up and get our heart rate up a little bit. So we're going to start just with some jogging in place. Here we go. After that, we're going to go straight into some high knees. We're going to do it slow, just lifting up one leg at a time just to get our body ready and go ahead and go into those high knees. After those high knees, we are going to go ahead and get ready and do some jumping jacks to round out our warm up. Okay, now that we're nice and warmed up, the way this is gonna work is we're gonna do five exercises. We're gonna exercise for 40 seconds and take a 20 second rest in between each exercise. And we're gonna do that round two times. All right, the first exercise we're gonna do in this series is a mountain climber. So you're gonna go ahead and get down and you're gonna get into a high plank. Put your arms right under your shoulders, get your feet out and hold your core in tight. And you're just gonna bring each knee forward, just like so. And I told both of my kids that if it gets too hard or they get too tired to just take a little break and just stay in a high plank. And then if they can, just keep going with the mountain climbers. So if it gets too tough, just hold that high plank. But if you can, just bust out the rest of this mountain climber. All right, our next exercise, we're gonna do a squat with a front kick. So you're gonna get your feet about shoulder width apart and you're gonna just squat down, lift the one leg up and do a front kick and the squat and do another front kick with the other leg. Make sure to not have your knees go over your toes. This is not about how many you can do, but how well you do. So just go squat, front kick, alternating each kick and keep your core in tight the whole time you're doing it. Okay, this next one we're going to go into some plank up down. So you're going to get your hands set right under your shoulders, your feet out, core in tight. And you're just going to go down, down, up, up. Then switch arms down, down, up, up. And the whole time you're doing this, keep your core in tight. Try not to move those hips side to side. Ready, set, go. And on this one, just like we do with the mountain climbers, I tell the kids that if it gets too tough to so just stop, hold the plank, and then when they can, to go back into the up down. All right, our next exercise is gonna be just some good old fashioned jump rope. Figured since we were doing this workout with kids that it'd be fun to incorporate some jump rope, get some little bit of some agility training. And just for myself, I feel like if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. 
So that's why I want to do some jump rope. Ready and go. And if you don't have a jump rope, no problem. Just jumps on both feet, get on the balls of your feet, and just do soft jumps. Like Jack over here, he doesn't have a rope, but he is still jumping, working on some of that agility training. You got about 26 seconds to go. All right, this next exercise is gonna be pretty fun. We are gonna do some quick feet with some downs, but the kicker here is that I am letting Riley and Jack take turns saying down. So we'll just do quick feet, and whenever one says down, we'll jump down, and then when the other one says down, we'll do it again. Here we go. And ready, set, go. Ready, down. Down. That is the first round of five exercises. We're gonna take a 20 second break and then we're gonna jump right back into those mountain climbers. Ready? Don't forget if it gets too tough to just hold the plank and then go back into the mountain climbers. We're about to start here in five, four, three, two, go. All right, for the second round, if you wanna make it a little tougher, do four mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, and then just add in a push-up. If that's too tough, no worries, just stick with the mountain climbers, and if that's too tough, no worries there, just work into a high plank. But if you wanna take the second round to the next level, add in a push-up after four mountain climbers. Don't forget to keep that core tight. That is up. Now we're going to move into those squat front kicks. You got a little 20 second break here and then squat and front kicks. Ready, go. Job. Now, next thing we're going to go into is another set of those plank up-downs. Same thing as last time. If it gets too tough, go ahead and just work in a plank. And then go back to the up-downs when you can. Ready, go. Another little 20 second break here and we are heading to the jump rope.
Ready, set, go. Great job. Now we're going into that last exercise with the up downs where the kids get to be the ones yelling up and down. Hope you guys are letting your kids yell it. It's kind of fun depending on their personalities how often you'll have to jump down on the ground. Ready, go. Ready, down. 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 Awesome. Okay, you did it. You finished the first set of five exercises in two rounds. So now you get a 60 second break. Go ahead, grab you some water, rest for just a second. And then we're going to do another set of five exercises. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're going to do that two times and then you are going to be finished. Hope you guys are enjoying this workout with your kids. And you've got about 35 seconds before we start again. All right, the first exercise we're gonna do on this set of five is we're gonna do a squat jack with a side punch. So you're going to jump into a squat, rotate, punch to the side, come up into um, kind of like a jumping jack, and then squat and punch to the side. All of your punches should be in the squat position. All right, something you're gonna wanna remember on these is to keep your core in tight the whole time. We're hitting some of these oblique muscles while we're also working our legs. And ready, set, go. Squat, punch, back together. Squat, punch, back together. Done, all right. So the next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna lay out our ropes, and we're just gonna do a one foot hop. Um, kids love this, so we're gonna take the right foot and we're gonna jump 10 times on the right foot, and then we're gonna jump 10 times on the left foot. Just go in 10 and 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch. There you go.
All right, we're gonna take you a little 20 second rest. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do some frog planks. You're gonna get in that high plank position and you're just gonna take knee, one knee and put it to the same elbow, kind of like a frog jump. So knee to elbow, ready, set, go. And so on this one, you wanna keep that core tight, keep your arms from moving around quite a bit. And same thing on all of these. I've told the kids if it gets too tough to just take a break, hold the plank position, and then go right back into your frog planks. For some reason, my kids love this exercise, probably because it makes them feel like a frog. Next exercise, this one is also one of my kids' favorite. It is called the skier jump. I love this. This is a real um, agility working exercise where it's your booty. So you're going to jump to one side, put your leg behind you, and you're going to touch on the outside foot with the opposite hand. Go. Okay, so you see you jump, touch on the outside foot with the opposite hand. Um, if you want to really get a good workout here, make sure you extend that back leg behind you pretty far. And also, to even make it a little bit better, get a higher hop when you jump. So this one is going to work you as hard as you work. And kids love this one because they think it is fun. So jump, touch, go to the other side. Jump, touch. Okay, we got a 20 second break and then we're gonna hop right into burpees. This is gonna be our last exercise on this set of five. So on the burpees, you're going to just jump down, get into a high plank position, then put your feet back up and then jump up. Same thing as always, keep your core tight on all these exercises and go. Down, out, back, up. You've only got 40 seconds of this. Down, out, back, up. Got one more set of five exercises. We're going to do these same five exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and you will be done with your workout. So go ahead, get your drink of water on your little 20 second break here, and you can do this. Five more sets. Ready, set, go. Going back to those squat jack punches. So jump, side punch, back together. Jump, side punch, back together. You can do this. You've only got 30 seconds to go. right back into those one foot hops. Lay your jump rope out, or if you don't have a rope, just do a line. We're gonna do 10 hops on each foot. Have a little bit of fun with your kids. Make some funny faces at them while you're doing this. And we're gonna go 10 on one foot, and then 10 on the other foot. Ready, set, go. And done. 
Okay, you've only got three more things to do and you are finished. We're gonna go ahead and jump right back down into our frog planks where you're gonna bring one leg up, touching your elbow with it, keeping your core tight. If you get tired, just stay in your plank position. But other than that, hold your core in and go. are done okay two more things we're gonna jump into these skiers these are really fun like I said a while ago if the more you push your foot behind you the more you're gonna get a workout there make sure to get a good hop we're gonna start here in just a second get ready and go skier to the side hop touch that foot on the outside and have a little bit of fun with your kids here And you are done with those skiers. Good job, here's your last 20 second break. I know you are very tired, but you've got one more. We are going to end with these burpees. So all you got left is 40 seconds of work. And just again, I hope you're having a good time with your kids. I hope you guys are enjoying this time working out together. 20 seconds and go, burpees. Last little set of exercise. Just a few more to go and you are done. Great job, everybody. You just finished your 20 minute workout of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So now it is time to get ready for a cool down. Get you a drink real quick. Okay, I know that it is tempting to skip the cool down, but do not skip this cool down. It's only a couple minutes. We're gonna get our heart rate back down. So I want you to just stand on your mat, take a deep breath, take one arm, push it over, and grab at your elbow and just keep taking some deep breaths right there and hold that arm. Good. Swing those arms out and go to the other side. Take that elbow and just hold it over. Tell your kids how awesome they are that they did this with you. Now we're going to go down. We're going to put one leg on the mat. We're going to hinge forward, stretching that hip right there. Take some deep breaths while you're doing this. We did a lot of legs today, so we don't want to skip this. This should feel really good. Okay. Now take that front leg, hold it out. Stretch down just a little bit. Or if you're super flexible, go on down and put your head to your knee, but that is definitely not us. So just get a good stretch. Pull it back up. Put the other leg out. We feel our heart rate going down now. Stretching out that other hip flexor. Hinge forward. This should feel really good. You should be really glad that you're doing this. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and stick that other leg out. Take a deep breath. Whoopsie. Off balance. Going down stretch. This should feel really good. Do not skip this. We're going to take it. We're going to sit down. We're going to do the good old fashioned butterfly stretch. Put your feet together. Pull it in as close to you as you can. Push down on those legs with your elbows. The whole time taking deep breaths in and out. Working on cooling down. 
Now this time I'm just going to do a little kindergarten set of crisscross applesauce and we're going to move our head to one side. We're going to roll our neck to the other side, get, doing our little pull down, and we are done. Awesome. And because I am so proud of my kids, we all went and we got a Dream Pop, orange Dream Pop, to celebrate the end of our workout. Great job.